you from the high up on top of the radio tower. That's right, the Space Needle over here, man. A Tech Grid, and uh, we got a great show for you today. Uh, we're going to look at a place called the campus over here, and then, uh, well, we'll look at some news and different stuff. So, uh, one thing I like to bring up yesterday, I brought up the fact that I think that uh, grid owners should uh, be more involved with their grids. I know that people coming in there are are they're wanting to uh, do things and get things and create a market, and that's when a grid owner he knows everybody there. I think one of the best persons I ever seen that ever do this in my life was a, is a young lady uh, named Mine There. Mine There Always. Uh, as a fact, she realized how she could go talk to the different grids and get people together and have events. Uh, you know, the different regions and stuff, even though she worked in one. And uh, that building created other people to come to that area, into, the, into that area. So I think that's, uh, again, I kind of impress that even more and more. So uh, let's say you've really got it scaled down. You're only making a couple of dollars a month off each sim that you're renting or whatever, and you got 28 of them, I know. But you want to know what? To throw an event, have a live singer or some type of a role play or something like that, something that's going to get your other other grids involved, the other regions involved with you at the same time. It's a big deal because involvement's where it's at. Otherwise, we get stagnation. And, you know, the next thing you know, you're listening to some guy with a goat, you know, telling you he's got two streams. And, you know, you think you're having a great time, but the guy never posted his two streams. So, uh, you know, you know, you get a right, you get a really strong right or left arm, depends if you're right-handed or left-handed, when you have to deal with this kind of stuff. So, let's get on over and take a look at this campus. <laughs> Are we ready to party? Let's party! A tech style! That's right, here on the campus! Ooh. Teleporting into A tech. The campus region. A region of learning and understanding the virtual world. A place where one communicates with the community. Lighthouse in the background. Windmills powering. The servers that push the wonderful textures to our computer. Dropping down into the valley. Mm. Sleepy early morning. Ducks upon the water. What a gorgeous build. Look at the attention to detail. Oh. Sun creeps up over the ocean. We find ourselves gazing at the beauty of this beautiful virtual land. Joe Builder, he uh, 
he posted this video here on YouTube, and uh, so I was checking it out. And uh, Joe Builder always amazed me. His uh, actually his patience with me when I get over there. He's like, "Yeah, over here, over there. Go over there, over here, over there. Go here, go over there." But you know, that's because he knows it. And his building, his his ability to build large stuff. It's it's you know, building huge is not easy. It's uh, you would think you know, building big would be you know. But no, it, it's really, it's hard. And doing super small is super hard, too. It's time-consuming. But uh, I was just wondering, uh, as we all watch this really cool little video, I, if you notice, I cropped it up a little bit. And uh, I think we're going to, I'm going to ask anybody out there that would like to bring, uh, like to come in here and uh, do a, uh, oh, it's about an eight-minute segment. Uh, of you know some quick questions and some answers, I would love to get somebody in here that uh, Nora myself. I'd love to have Nora come in and talk about her books and stuff. I I really think that's a great idea. And some of your magazine writers and some of your grid owners, you know, and some of your uh, stuff. I really would enjoy that. It's uh it's nice to see people take time and uh, you know that really love their grid and love being part of it and stuff and. Uh, you know, do things, and obviously Joe does. Joe is, uh, uh, I've talked to him many a times, I think his biggest frustration is, you know, uh, you know, more people should come and hang out there. Well, you know, that's a hit and miss thing. Some of these, some of your grids are open, some of them are closed, but, you know, it's uh, fascinating, you know, to think that uh, all this beautiful stuff has been made and built by Joe, and uh, many people don't get a chance to to hear him and talk to the guy. The guy is, uh, uh, I tell you what, he bent over backwards for you, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, just to, uh, he'd help you left day and night, so, uh, you know, Joe, I, I want to thank you for uh, posting this video and allowing me to use it here today, and uh, again, oh, by the way, mine there, I wanted to say mine there brought up something also, uh, about the metaverse and uh out there the metaverse uh is i was is metro i was saying i meant to say metropolis metaversum and i always forget to get the sum out there the metaversum but uh and, and she she nailed me on that you know hey 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 you know it's metropolis says it's a metaverse i know i know but it's so big it is to me i really enjoy the metaversum and uh it's a lot of fun to go over there i go over there quite a bit and, uh, you know, it, it, it's really cool stuff. <laughs> so, if anybody would like to do that little eight-minute segment, uh, you know, uh, get a hold of me during the day, and we'll shoot that, and we'll have that on there, and that way we can we can do your sim with it. Uh, I'd really enjoy that, doing your sim as we talk and show your sim also. Uh, so, hey, get with me on that. Uh, that can be done uh, anytime uh, to your, uh, you know, the ability to to work that out with me, and uh, it's a big deal, especially if you have a service, something like that, like CarlNet or or you know uh, like what Zeta Zangrid's doing, whatever Zana Zeta Zeta Grid Zana Grid Zangras, whatever they got a lot of that stuff going on. So next up, I found an article over here in Hypergrid Business about the dot worlds and dot stuff first to grab and. It, Sounds like it's a big deal. It's kind of cool. I know it's uh, we're we're discussing. You know, can I get something? Can I get something? So uh, let's let's take a look exactly what's going on here. So what's in a domain? As you see this in hypergrid business, the dot world domains available. Zeta world first first one to grab up. Now here's the thing. I I don't know what's really going on here with with people. But it looks like it's an advertisement for uh, GoDaddy or Sunshine or something here. Because domains are just that. They're a domain. And, uh, you know, I really don't care if you have a dot .is, a dot, dot .no, a dot .whatever. There's many different dot .whatever it is. So, to be honest with you, the DNS server, the domain main server that actually handles all this, it never sees that stuff. So what I what I'm trying to tell you here is when you pick something out 
to uh, actually, you know, for a company or something like that, uh, for like my companies when I picked them out, you know, you had to make sure they were available, one to begin with. But then, uh, you know, uh, when you talk to your the people actually handling the domain, you you can have all kinds of names that actually link to it. So it's 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 not quite as simple as you think. I mean, uh, this uh, this big let's go grab one of these things real quick. Well, because they're out there, you know, dot ov dot realtor dot guru dot nyc dot world. I uh, I really don't see it. I don't. I really don't grasp it. You know, I've had my domain with Google for a long time, and I've never had any major problems at all. Uh, but uh, hey, I uh, again, it looks like an advertisement. Somebody's trying to sell some domains for somebody. I, uh, I don't know. Makes no sense to me because uh, a domain server who actually got that register register with is going to actually just going to convert that into a long number. Uh, but I guess if you got a pet shop, you don't want to, you know, name it uh, something like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Roadkill. But, uh, you know, at the end of the dot, it just just really doesn't matter. It it just it doesn't matter. The dot, it just it creates a new setup of uh, of of numbers that help the DNS server. And if the name's a big deal, hey, so be it. But uh, oh well. That's the way it looks, man, you know. Somebody's got a great advertisement out for GoDaddy. I my, myself couldn't see using GoDaddy. I, they've got one of the lowest ratings I've seen in a long time. Big companies, too many cracks to fall through. Well, it looks like it is time for the G-Spot. That's right, the G-Spot. Let's get on over there and take a look at the G-Spot. And at the top of the... The G-Spot, Mary Schoenbach. Hey, let's talk grid themes, everybody. She's getting ready to talk. She wants to talk about building. She's getting a building itch. Hey, hey, look at that. Hypergrid nurse. I love my hypergrid nurse. Hey, you can have the la last flash on your operating system. Seems hard is easy. Hey, I remember the days when we used to have to flash CMOS chips and you brick the whole thing up and it was gone, man. It was a real drag. You had to do that, though, a lot of times in order to... Ooh, yeah, man, I have my evergreen 48 megahertz, man. <laughs> we were we were smoking. Mine there, oh, she uh, she grabbed and plus uh, Lysterin Brianna, Miss Virtual Worlds, uh, and magazine. Yeah, so Lysterin's always been a great content creator and a, and a wonderful, uh, uh, Just she's just fantastic. And nice, super nice. I've worked for Romance Couture for years, still do. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how she puts up with me, but she is super nice. Uh, over there about, mine there, boy, she's really got them posting up today there. The uh, originally shared about Kylie Virtual News, the video can help you more. Yes, that is a good video. Everybody, you got to check that out. That's a great one. That's a good one. But, and uh, it's fantastic. Man, mine there's got a whole bunch of Zaphoid Enoch, man. That's Zaphoid. He takes some great pictures. He really knows how to write some good stuff, man. One of these days, he might actually write something about me. <laughs> Rosenthal Blackwell originally shared. Never tried role play. Hey, everybody, get over there, man, today at uh, 12 p.m. 12 p.m., man, at the, over there, uh, Hypergrid Academy at Kitely, man. Check it out. Check it out. Hypergrid Nurse, some more. A real chat. You know that, right, Nexty Sirs? <laughs> sexy Nexty Sirs. Ah, that's a sexy nurse. <laughs> Reza Ember, Safari Art Craft. Hey, 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 man, that is a really cool deal. You guys get over there and do the safari. That's right, Joe Builder publicly announced that. <laughs> that morning about Shinigan's place. Yeah, he's got a really cool racetrack and a lab counter. It's fantastic stuff, you guys. I need to get over there and check that out, check that out. Maybe we get him on the show, huh? Pauline, B originally shared that from the Franco Grid. Hey, I was over there, Franco Grid. I need to... Get a hold of somebody over in the Franco grid that can deal with English and uh, work with me a little bit. Uh, mine, there always. Oh, yeah, the Kylie Market. That's right. Shin again. There, we got him going, doing his thing there. Hey, let's go to Hawaii, Miss Malone. Ooh, I want to do it. Let's do some Hawaii. Definitely want to do some Hawaii, man. Rise Ember. That is really cool looking stuff, man. <laughs> wow, that is really cool. And, of course, I posted the uh, Miss Virtual World. Yeah. 
Well, we're getting down there. Somebody wants to learn how to make some RPMs. Here's the latest. Uh, something really cool. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Lord Draco, who uh, works on the uh, viewers and stuff. Uh, oh, hey. On the, uh, the You Can Do viewer, they just put that out there, by the way. And... Uh, it's it's a, it's another it's another second life one. He was telling me that he probably uh is going to try to make that open sim. Who who knows? It was open sim at one time, maybe not. Uh, uh they don't have a Mac builder, but uh we're looking into that. <laughs> I might try to get involved in that Mac side of that. I don't know, but that was uh just out. Anybody that's over in Second Life want to try the You Can Do viewer out? It's it's got a different looking color schemes and stuff. It's 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 pretty cool. It's not bad. It's not bad stuff. And he's got a G plus spot. So hey, can't be that too bad of a guy. Well, that looks like it for the for that <laughs> G spot, everybody. Well, that's uh, pretty much it for the show today. Uh, won't be any news. You've been watching it scroll across the bottom since the beginning of the show, so, uh, and not only that, I really like to try to keep it down around, uh, you know, 16, 17, 18 minutes max, so, uh, I'll tell you right now, this is DJ Adam, zero one time, and we're out of here, you all have a great day, it's Friday tomorrow! <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,